Okay, folks, I've got another little odd one here for you. And this is my little Peter Pan gramophone that I've never featured. I bought this along with the mini phone that you saw a couple of videos ago. Around the same time. It had to have been over 20 years ago. From the same lady. And uh, this is in kind of imitation uh, alligator skin, actually. It didn't hold up very well over the years. But for those of you into patents, it says Peter Pan gramophone. Uh, patent number is 226015-705313. And additional world's patents pending. And uh, again, as with the minifone, this little horn, this little bellows horn falls down and everything comes out along with the tone arm and the reproducer and the uh, this little weird contraption here which is the turntable all pulls out goes into these little holes over here and all folds up into a nice neat little carrying case with a handle on the other side and of course there's the crank over here I'm going to attempt to play a 10 inch record on this I've got it all cranked up this is Piccolo Pete from 1929 by Freddie Rich and his orchestra. So first I've got to try to get this up to the right speed, which is an effort in itself. And that should be about right, right there. And I'll try to put this on and get through a 10 inch record for you. have it, the little miniature um, Peter Pan gramophone playing Piccolo Pete. 
That's from 1929, and that was done by uh, Freddie Rich and his orchestra. I believe that the uh, Dorsey brothers were sitting in on that. 1929. Um, both of them, if I'm not mistaken. So I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration of the Peter Pan gramophone and hearing Piccolo Pete from 1929 on the Cameo label.